I really don't want to be that guy. But to most people, this picture may seem like it's uh, it's it's a wholesome picture. It's nothing. And I, I guess you can say that to an extent because it's a celebrity posing with the two NXT world champions. But little do you know who Sexy Red is. Your casual fan won't know who Sexy Red is. But I'm pretty sure they have an idea after seeing her not once, not twice, but three times on NXT television twerking. Now, me, I knew who Sexy Red was because of her quote-unquote marketing strategy. Which is going around, town to town, twerking, music videos twerking, her lyrics absolutely horrible. Some of the worst lyrics I've ever heard in my entire life and somehow is a millionaire if that's not a plan I don't know what to tell you because every single time a camera is in her face her ass is in our face and it's the type of thing that I really hate because I've been talking for years now about the entertainment industry in general when it comes to hey, 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 look I, I'm all for you know degeneracy when it's done right when it's done in the right way, when it's done in an entertaining way. This is not entertaining. She has never been entertaining, never will be entertaining. You can clearly tell just from her appearance alone, and I'm not somebody who wants to you know, judge off of appearances. I'm not someone who at least judges off of appearances like that, but just because I simply know who she is, I, I can say, judging off of her appearance, not the best role model, not the best celebrity, probably one of the worst celebrities of all time. And that's me putting it lightly. Because again, you can just do a deep dive into her lyrics and, and tell why would, uh, of all the celebrities you can have, to go on an NXT for a paid promotion and doing all of this and get this publicity and all this other stuff, why? Why Sexy Red? Why this celebrity? So this is why I always say, like, look, man, I'm not someone for gatekeeping and stuff like that. But the simple fact that we had her show up on NXT Battleground that I was watching last night and she was twerking in the main event. The last shot of that pay-per-view is Sexy Red in the ring dancing around with Trick Williams. When I'm watching wrestling, I don't want to see Sexy Red dancing in the ring with Trick Williams. The woman whose entire marketing strategy, if not personality alone is twerking I'm sorry I'm not that guy I'm not that I'm not that fan where I'll just sit here and accept things like the Disney Star Wars fans where they'll just sit there and 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 they get so defensive to where they'll start attacking people when they say they just simply didn't like it real Star Wars fans and, and, and y'all know me I always say I'm not a Star Wars stan or nothing like that no hardcore fan but I am I grew up as a Star Wars fan and what we're watching with, especially with the Acolyte, and we've been seeing it for years now, it ain't Star Wars. Acolyte is an abomination. But anyways, anyways, I'm getting, getting off track. This is why when, when, when people say, oh, you know, we need to have, we need to let everybody, and I always use that whole sandbox, you know, playing kids, playing in the sandbox uh, analogy, right? I'm not even going to do that this time. Because I'm just going to use the example that we have right in our faces. The examples that we have when we're watching the WNBA and what they're doing in, in their fan base. Which is like, yeah, it, it's cool that they're getting a fan base, they're getting a following, but you got to be careful who follows you. You got to be careful who becomes a fan base. Because a lot of those people aren't basketball fans. Just like when you watch... And, the, and again, the great thing about WWE is, you know, you don't have to be a quote-unquote wrestling fan, but at the end of the day, it's still wrestling. To an extent, you're still a wrestling fan. Please tell me, why do we need this kind of BS in the ring when I'm trying to enjoy my wrestling? When five, six, seven years ago, we were getting five-star matches on these takeovers. <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen. 
And it's like, Corn, are you are you really gonna take this so serious that that they're putting sexy red on NXT? Uh, nigga, I'm making a video about it. So yes, I am taking it serious. Because I'm sick and tired of every single thing that I watch, everything, every single thing that I've grown up as a child, as a as a young adult, whatever. And, and going right into my adulthood, still enjoying, and then boom. They're ruining everything after everything after everything after everything. Damn, go over here. Oh, man, I love my superheroes, man. Oh, okay. They ruined that. I'll oh, come over here. Go to my sports. Oh, they ruined that. I got my music. Oh, they just canceled. Delete. Oh, and then he. Oh, damn. Well, I still got my wrestling. All the way up until 2024 where you got a whole bunch of wrestlers now coming out. Support Pride Month and support trans rights or we, or we hate you and blah, blah, blah. You're a piece of shit if you don't like trans, blah, blah. You don't want kids to be mutilated, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I can't sit back and just let you say, there's no hate in wrestling. Yeah, no shit. There's no hate in wrestling. There's no hate in any of this. We either like it or we don't. We either like what's presented in front of us or we don't. So that's why I th- this is the entire reason why I had the problem with the uh, with the swerve uh, my champion is black speech right right after winning the AW World Championship I have the same problem with this where it's where you have a whole bunch of people saying oh we've never been accepted in this or we've never gotten this and never got that and then as soon as you get the platform you embarrass everyone that you claim you represent. And that's not just race alone. That includes uh, the elemental P community as well. And people of all the other mental illnesses that they want to claim that they have. I'm not, say, I'm not saying you got to sit there and, and, and sulk about it. But that's not nothing to walk around and be proud of. That's not something that you should be getting your own fucking month for. But wh- wh- whatever, whatever. But let me get back to the whole degeneracy thing when it comes to entertainment, specifically wrestling. Because if you want to get specific, obviously Degeneration X is, is the, the, the flaring elephant in the room, right, when we're talking about degeneracy in wrestling. Well, now that you bring that up, let's talk about Degeneration X real quick. That was a good idea because it worked for that time and it worked for that wrestling environment. So you can say NWO, D-Generation X, all this. But again, they weren't just getting on camera and just doing stupid shit every single time with zero talent. The difference between Sexy Red and D-Generation X is Triple H and Shawn Michaels had a lot of talent. And they had to rely on that talent to get them to that spot to where they could be D-Generation X. Sexy Red did not. As I said earlier, she is a plant. She has zero talent. Her lines are all written for her, which is why she can barely even do an interview without being exposed or making sense or speaking English. And no offense, this whole celebration that they did after the main event at an NXT Battleground last night, that did not do Trick any favors because he's not as talented as he looks. He's just not. He... Look, he can get a lot better, and he needs to get a lot better. Because last night, Ethan Page made him <laughs> he made him like an amateur. I'm not going to lie, man. Ethan Page, like, Trick Williams just could not keep up. But nonetheless, nonetheless, it was a good match. It wasn't great or anything like that. But Sexy Red comes out there at, after the match and completely ruins the moment. Completely takes me out of it and I'm sitting here like you really decided to bring sexy red out here to celebrate with trick Williams the NXT world champion at the end of the pay-per-view so the last shot of the entire pay-per-view is sexy red sitting in, uh, standing in the rain dance with trick Williams I think that was actually her first clip in NXT uh, where she wasn't twerking because I don't think she twerked last night in the main event she did twerk however like bro come on man really and this was last night at the pay-per-view, by the way. So while we're getting this, 
and now she's getting the announcement. Like, fam, this is. And y'all say y'all want black people. Oh, 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 we represent black. We don't get enough attention. We don't get this. We don't get opportunity. We don't get that. You want to know? And look, we do. But if you want to, if you want to live in that world and live in that mindset of of we don't get this, we don't get that because of color or skin, because of the background, whatever the fuck. This is the reason why. This right here is what we want to put on NXT television. Degeneracy. And not the good kind. Not the entertaining kind, I'll say. say. So, I'm going to say out of here with all that BS talking about uh, you're not accepted, we're not accepted, we're not this and we're not that. And, and, and we and we're being told that we don't belong because of our color. No, 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 no. It ain't because of that. It's because of your personality, or lack thereof. Because your entire personality is sitting here twerking. And I don't know who's. Uh, I know Shawn Michaels may have had a, a hand in it, but I'm pretty sure Shawn Michaels wasn't the guy to say, "Hey, we should have sexy red on on NXT." Have her twerking at the end of the pay per view too, with with Trick Williams or da- or not she what uh, I gotta get quick. They she didn't twerk at a main event, but dancing in a she should not she should have stayed far away from Trick Williams and that main event. You could say a lot of twerking and stuff after the pay per view, but no, you decided to do it in the ring, backstage. <sighs> Did it last week at NXT on on TV as well. Well, where are we going with the marketing strategy, not just for NXT, but for WWE, for all of entertainment? It seems like all these entertainment uh, 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 conglomerates are just going to shit. And it's sad to see. It's real sad to see, man. So when you say corn, uh, uh, you, uh, why, why are you so, you're racist, you're a bigot, you Uncle Tom? No, it ain't that. But I will say this. No. I don't want these niggas anywhere near me. Because I don't associate myself with that kind of stuff. I don't have the same mindset as these people. That the first thing you think of like, look, man, I love having a good time as much as the next person, man. I love having fun probably more than you think. But fam, there's a time and a place to be acting a fool. I was just talking earlier about the the the, uh, the the WNBA player at the press conference. Acting like a child. Being, not having control of her emotions at a press conference. A press conference. When actually asked about the game, because I guarantee you, if she was asked about the elemental P community and representation and all that other stuff, and, rep- and black representation at WNBA, she, she would have said every all that stuff with a smile on her face. She was asked about the game of basketball and, and copped an attitude and got emotional and left. And yet, y'all want more? Y'all want more opportunity? Y- y- y'all, want, y'all want to be looked at more? It's funny because I ain't saying it's us. It's us, the black people, that's, that's, always, that's the only ones doing it. But every time I see somebody get that platform, the Swerve Stricklands of the world, the Sexy Reds of the world, the Trick Williams of the world, bruh, I get that Booker T's joking and oh, I want to see her choke with everybody. Oh. He ain't helping either. And I get they they may look at it entertainment again. They're from a whole different. That's why I get I give Mark Henry slack too. They're from a whole different generation. Of where some things you you either just don't talk about or you don't think about. You don't see it the same way some of us do. But I see the BS. I see all the stuff. I I wouldn't say 100% of the time, obviously, I don't catch it. And sometimes I give, depending on what it is, I'll give it a little bit of slack too. There are some shows that I watch that has gay representation in it. And I ignore it. I'm just like, still a good show. But man, I'm just tired of seeing gay shit everywhere. It's not the fact that it's... A gay character or the fact that there's a black woman twerking. Because I can deal with one. I can deal with one on TV twerking and where she shouldn't be. I, I could deal with the, the, the chick twerking and uh, in country music if chicks, if black chicks weren't always twerking everywhere they go. In media. In media. So if that was a, a lone instance, 
And I think that was Sexy Red, too, actually. Again, untalented. Only thing she does is twerk. And cause chaos. Industry plan. But, you know, look, man, I, I think I ran it enough, okay? At, le at least for this video. But NXT, and not just NXT, not just WWE, not just the professional wrestling industry as a whole, but the entertainment industry as a whole has got to get a grip on all this degeneracy in terms of the euphorias of the world, the sexy reds of the world. Like, it's getting outrageous to the point where it's like, what are we trying to do? What are we really trying to teach this next generation? Because I would hate to grow up with as bad of content that we have, as bad of entertainment, as bad of media and content influences that we have in this day and age. If I was growing up, if I was 16 today, I would be fucked mentally. Because this is nothing but brain rot. Nothing but brain rot. More brain rot than what the next generation is already being put upon them anyways. I'll end this video by saying this. This is all going to come full circle to, to the entertainment industry as a whole. Okay. Star Wars fans are Star Wars fans. And Disney Star Wars fans are faggots. Make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. It's your boy Corn and I am OUT.